Okay, welcome to this part of my own demonstration. So today I want to do a simple API for a bank with a slightly different reasoning. Now, if you look at the Nigerian banking sector, you'll discover all accounts number are 10 digits long. That's number one. Number two, banks have, um, that all banks have a certain uh, range where the account number ought to fall in. For instance, um, First Bank, the account number mostly starts from three. So we have three zero, something, 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 10 digits long. And then um, banks like Houston will have six, zero, and then 10 digit long. So they have a particular range where the account number starts from. That is also part of um, the thing I'll be implementing here. But one thing I want to implement differently is the verification system. Uh, the banks in Nigeria have multi-verification system. If you want to open an account today and then you walk into any of these banks, they'll request a means of identification, which might be your national ID, your um, voter's card, your um, driver's license, or any of those. And then after that, they'll still get your details, home address, and all the other details. And after that, they'll still have to generate BVN, bank verification number for you, and then all these just to have an account. Now, I want to eradicate that uh, multi identity uh, verification system so that we can just have just on verification system so this is my idea we have a central database managed by uh, a commission like the nimc national identity management commission and um, that database will contain the details of all the citizens let's imagine you're developing for the banking system in nigeria all the citizens of the country must register with nimc that is the uh, the uh, criteria. So once you register, you are given an identity number, just like the normal name which everyone has at the moment. So once a child is born, the um, name is automatically generated for that child. The child will be registered at the hospital before leaving. So that is my idea here. And then once we have that, once you want to open a bank account, uh, all you have to do is just go there with your name number, just that. We don't need to fill um, those strenuous forms and all that. Or if you have to fill a form, it's just maybe for the type of um, bar account you want to open and maybe some banking-related uh, information, not personal information, all of those things. Those will be captured in your NMC. So that's my idea of um, this API. So I have a very simple user class here where you need just the name, the name, the address and all that, just some basic information. Uh, then I have a custom hash and equals method where I use the NIN as the basic form of identification. So two methods, two user instances, will compare equals only if their NIN is the same. Okay, so I also have the NIMC, uh, um, simple implementation of the NIMC. We have um, the count, the count itself as the ID. Ideally, if you're using a database to store this record, so the, the ID will be the count here. So the, and then the count is also what I'm using as my name, so so that the name will be unique for everyone here. So the user class is used by the name, name C. So the name C is the one managing the user class. Okay, so we have methods like register, and then get user, and then get name. That's all, and then search. This one is just a normal search where you search by name and then it can return multiple records if multiple users matches that name. So, and then I have the, the account class which will be managed by the bank class. So the uh, account class is the base method, the base class for the, uh, the bank. Then we have um, um, user, of course you pass a user instance and then from the user instance uh, from the user instance now you can create an account and then you pass the account number account number is to be passed by the bank itself so we have these just as simple as that and then i have custom hash and equals i am using the account number as the unique id to verify these are so two account instances i will compare equal only if the account number is the same so I have um, custom property read only properties like account number and user and balance now uh, for the account number I have this one uh, which returns the raw account number but the raw account number is not useful to the user since it's not um, 
the user wants to understand that what you give to the user is what is generated by this method the get account number so these parts the account number with zeros in case it is not up to 10 digits long it parts it with zero so that it will return a 10 digit long digits so you can also use this method get balance to return a formatted balance so that the user might understand and then this formats the result and sends it as a it's sending it as string but it can also format it as float just wrap this in a float and then it will return it as float okay so that's that for the bank then the bank this is the method now uh, the class that uses the account um, in our class so we have uh, at the when you're initializing we have the start index which is the uh, the range of value where this bank can generate the account number so you can if you pass in a value of one that means they can generate values from uh, one up to a certain best thing then if you pass values like uh, 1000 that means they can generate values their starting index should start from 1000 1000 up to um, a certain uh, uh, value so that is uh, my reasoning here then they have a name and then we have account which will be stored in a dictionary and then the MC portal is passed to it ideally this should be a, a portal on its own exposing API endpoints where you can query but since it's a very simple implementation I just passed in the MC portal and then you just did it here okay so we have methods like create account get account and all that so this is a simple example of uh, what we are trying to do so I have um, the NIMC here so I created the NIMC and then I loaded it with just three users um, three users and then I exposed the need of those users and stored them in variables and then I created the bank here and then we just created two accounts for two of these users so that's the first bank so I have um, this uh, an account created for Morris and then another one for peace so I transact with that so I get the accounts so the users come in they supply the accounts number and then I get the account and then I can now transact with those accounts I can deposit I deposit 5,000 into Morris's account and then Morris, Morris withdraws 1,000 and then after that Morris transfers 3,000 to peace okay and then I'm trying to make interbank transfer. So I open another account. I mean, another bank entirely. This is O2 Bank. The other one is Sama Bank. All right. Now they're sharing. Notice they're sharing the same name C, the same name C across all the banks. Okay. So these accounts here, um, an account is created for the third user in the NIMC portal called Tony. So Tony has an account with uh, O2 Bank while these other people have an account with Sama Bank. And then what I'm trying to do here is interbank transfer. So uh, after creating the account, I'm transferring money from Peace accounts which exist with Sama Bank to Tony's account which exists with O2 Bank. And then after that, I'm printing the details. So let's do the calculation. Norris has 5,000 transfers one. Okay, withdraws 1,000. So 4,000 left transfers 3,000 to Peace. So Morris has 1,000 left. Now Peace has 3,000 and is transferring 1,000 to O2. So O2 has 1,000. Peace should have 2,000 are left. So let's just run this and see if that is the case. Okay, so let's see what the results will look like. So this is the result, Maurice. This is the name, and then this account number. Notice the starting index of the uh, of Sama Bank is one. Well, the starting index of um, O2 Bank is uh, one thousand. Uh, that's ten thousand. So you see, that's why O2, uh, the last person, Anthony, Anthony the account number starting from this and all of them they are 10 digits long so something as simple as that so we have 1000 left in Maurice bank to